What's your name? I'm Cape Kelly with Occupy Tampa. Yeah, and what did you think to Mayor Bob Buckhorn's speech today? Um, the propaganda speech wasn't too bad. Um, it's mostly focused on economics, not the uh, clean zone ordinance that uh, really is about to shake this city. Do you have anything to say in rebuttal to that? Sure. In response to the mayor's speech on the state of the city, our city is in a state of democratic distress. The corporate-sponsored Republican National Convention has given Bob Buckhorn an excuse to alienate our rights as U.S. citizens. This proposed clean zone bill destroys every person's given right to peacefully assemble and speak freely. The city of Tampa is deciding that the correct course of action is to stifle dissent, freedom destructive rules, tailor fitted to protect the status quo, and dictate what peaceful protests look like. 4,000 police officers with rubber bullets and tear gas, along with a $50 million security budget, sounds more like preparation for military combat than it does public safety. In addition, peaceful protesters are not permitted to protect themselves in the event that they are caught between the crossfire of tear gas and rubber bullets. With gas masks and other forms of protection being restricted under this special ordinance, we believe that existing laws are sufficient enough to protect police as well as our city. Buckhorn has given us the ability to purchase back our basic human rights, the same rights that we claim makes this country the beacon of freedom's light, in the form of a permit allowing protesters freedom of speech for one hour at a time. We, the people of Tampa, want to know who worked with Buckhorn to draft this ordinance? Who was this ordinance designed to protect? What gives Buckhorn the authority to pass such oppressive legislation and trample on the Constitution? Why should anyone have to pay for free speech? How are police going to be able to distinguish who is protected under these permits? What measures will the city of Tampa take to prevent inevitable incidences of police brutality during demonstrations, and who will be held accountable? Buckhorn's callous disregard for his civil rights shows how disassociated he is with the American public. This proposed clean zone ordinance is the final nail on the proverbial coffin. It is time for the general public to stand up for the rights that are being so violently stripped away. It's time for Tampa to stand up and Buckhorn to stand down.